Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today's video in the Vlogist series is going to be a review of sustainable skincare brand Coco Kind. So back in February of this year, I shared a pretty detailed first impressions of the brand over on my blog. And since then, I've actually switched some of those products out of my regular rotation. So today I thought I would sit down and share an updated review of the products that I featured on that post, as well as my general thoughts on the brand. And a few things I wanna get out of the way before I get into this video. I am by no means a skincare expert. I have a very basic knowledge of it that I picked up from my own experience, and I'm pretty much a novice when it comes to this stuff. So I'm hoping that this review is helpful for those of you who like me are quite overwhelmed by skincare and don't really know where to start with it all but are looking for an easy to digest review of a brand that is pretty accessible another note is that I would say I have combination skin so it gets a lot oilier in the summers and a lot drier in the winters and acne is not a huge issue for me generally speaking but I have struggled with it a lot more in the past six months um, due to hormonal changes, i.e. coming off the pill. And with that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the review. So what is Coco Kind? For those of you unfamiliar, Coco Kind is a fully sustainable and conscious skincare brand. Similar to Glossier, they have quite a strong social media presence, so if you've heard of them, it might have been through Instagram. They focus on a natural and holistic approach to skincare, so they use a lot of natural ingredients like chlorophyll and matcha and chia seed oil. And one of my favorite things about this brand is that it's a lot more accessible than a lot of other sustainable brands, so you can actually buy it at Target, Whole Foods, and Ulta. And the price point is relatively low compared to other kind of boutique sustainable brands um, and just skincare brands in general, like it's a pretty expensive habit. So for that reason, I think Coco Kind is such a great entry point into the world of clean beauty and skincare, especially if you're looking for more budget-friendly skincare products such as eye creams and daily sunscreens. So I have a handful of Coco Kind products here. I tried to lay it out nicely for you. Um, and I'm just gonna go through each one of these and tell you which one is like my holy grail product and which ones I can do without. So the first one I wanna talk about is the oil to milk cleanser. This costs $18. So this is one of their most popular products. People swear by this stuff. And so I had really high hopes for it. And I really don't wanna start out this review on a bad note, but unfortunately this just did not do it for me. And I read that an oil-based cleanser is actually really good for people who have oily skin, believe it or not, because it helps replenish the natural oils in your skin rather than just stripping them away like a lot of other cleansers do but I personally found that this one did not help with my newfound adult acne situation and it actually made my skin more prone to irritation and breakout, so it might have made it even worse. So my combination skin did not love this product and because I was dealing with a lot more acne than usual at the beginning of the year, I actually just cut this out of my routine altogether. On the plus side, I did really like the texture of this. So it goes from like a thick oily gel to a foaming milky texture, which gave me the impression that it was actually cleansing my skin and it also did not leave my skin feeling tight or dry at all which a lot of cleansers do so personally I did not love this product for myself but I know that a lot of other people really swear by this stuff so if you have a different skin texture to mine this might work perfectly for you next up is the texture smoothing cream which I used in place of a moisturizer this costs $20 it has a pretty thick texture to it and it's actually made with a celery super seed complex celery is not really an ingredient that I see used a lot in skin Skincare, but I assume it's great for hydrating your skin since it holds so much water and it also gives this product a very unique scent which I actually didn't mind that much but if you're not crazy about the smell of celery you might not like it that much what I do like about this is that it has a really cooling and calming effect on my skin which really comes in handy when my skin is more prone to irritation like when I'm on my period so I did have high hopes for this product because it is supposed to kind of smooth out and even out the texture of your skin in my experience I didn't find that it made a huge difference with my skin texture but I did like using it as a moisturizer especially during the winter when I like to use a thicker moisturizer because my skin is more dry so this one you know I could kind of take it or leave it it is a nice moisturizer but it doesn't really smooth out the texture that much in my opinion the next product that I want to mention is the one I am most excited to share with you all and that is the revitalizing eye cream this costs $18 and this is probably my top pick from the brand for a few reasons firstly I really like the formula of this it is lightweight and not too heavy, which I think is important for an eye cream, but it's still very nourishing. I found that it did help to improve the brightness around my eyes, and it's also really gentle, which is important because that's a really sensitive area of your skin. The second reason that I love this is because eye creams are expensive. So this is 0.5 fluid ounces, which doesn't sound like a lot, um, but 
because you don't have to use very much on each application, it ends up lasting quite a while. Comparable products from Kiehl's and Origins are about $35. And side note, neither of those brands are cruelty free, which I was really surprised to find out. And the third reason that I love this is actually because it has a metal applicator, so it's much more hygienic to apply. And after you put it on with the applicator, you are supposed to pat it into your skin with your fingertips. Um, but that is a lot more gentle than like rubbing the product into your eyelids and this applicator allows you to apply the product more precisely and it also has a soothing effect because it's really cooling when you put it on um, I don't know if any of you have this problem but I have pretty much year-round allergies and my eyes usually take the brunt of that irritation so having a products with a metal applicator like this are just really great for me so yeah this is my favorite product from Coco Kind I really highly recommend it um, it's very budget friendly and allows you to add a really nice eye cream into your skincare routine another favorite product of mine is the daily SPF so this costs $24 I really like the sunscreen because it's not too heavy for daily use but it does provide enough protection for especially like the summer months when we're all spending a lot more time outside as you may have gathered from earlier in this video my skin really doesn't do well with heavy oil based products and that's basically what sunscreen is it's quite oily so I like this one because it's light enough that that it doesn't feel like it's clogging my pores and making me break out. It's also SPF 32, which I think is a good amount for a daily facial sunscreen. And you can get higher SPFs, but I found that most of the daily ones are about 30 to 35 SPF. For a long time, I used the CeraVe facial moisturizer with SPF 30, and I just found that it wasn't giving me enough coverage for day to day. So that's when I switched to using a daily sunscreen in addition to my moisturizer. So it is an additional product, but it's arguably the most important step in your skincare routine. Sunscreen is quite an individualized product, so I think it's best to just try out a lot of different ones and see which one you like. Um, for example, like a mineral-based sunscreen, but I do definitely recommend this one. And lastly, I want to mention the resurfacing sleep mask. So this costs $22. So if you're still experimenting with creating your daily skincare routine, you might not be very interested in a facial mask, which I totally understand. I'm the same way. I used to do an Aztec clay mask from time to time, and then I went to get a facial and was told that it's actually quite harsh on your skin, so I don't do that anymore. My skin is also easily irritated by those sheet masks that you can pick up at Target, so most of the time I just skipped it altogether. And generally speaking, like I rarely feel like putting on a face mask that I have to wipe off 10 minutes later unless I'm just having like a good long pamper session but then I discovered overnight masks and I love them the first one I tried was the black tea firming overnight facial mask from fresh which was like a holy grail product for my skin but unfortunately it is quite pricey so I was looking for a replacement and that's when I found this one and I would say that it's quite a good alternative and it's much more budget friendly it has a lightweight gooey texture to it and it dries really quickly so you can just slather it on right before bed and then wake up and rinse it off when you cleanse your face in the morning it's super easy the only thing that I don't like about this is that it does have the tendency to kind of rub off if you touch your face before it's completely dry but I haven't found that it's like rubbed off on my pillow at night this is something that I use a lot more in the winter months when my skin is feeling really dry from all the heating that's running um, and I do tend to see results like after one use so it works really fast and it is suggested that you use it three to four times a week I actually used it a lot less like one or two times a week but I really like this product so I highly recommend it so that is all for the products that I'm going to review in this video I have tried other products from Coco Kind but these are the ones that I feel most comfortable doing like a full review on other Coco Kind products that I've tried are the Chia facial oil the chlorophyll mask the matcha face moisturizer which I believe they now sell in the form of a stick and the reusable facial rounds so if you have any specific questions about those products I'm happy to answer them one-on-one -on -one. you can just pop your comment down below I don't share a lot of clean beauty and skincare reviews and um, content like that on my channel but it is something that I would like to and that I plan to share more of during vloggers so if that's something you're interested you can let me know by hitting the like button and while you're at it please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for notifications when I upload new videos every day this month and thank you all so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow in another video.